Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, then please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and please help my channel to grow even more. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you this traditional Indian makeup look with pink half cut crease eyes and pink lips. So today's theme is basically pink. If you are wearing a pink sari or pink lehenga or pink salwar suit, then this look is going to be perfect for you or you can wear it with any western outfit as well for that please change the jewelries so yeah without further ado let's get started first i'm using this wet and wild photo focus primer and i'm just applying it all over on my face and neck to smoothen out my skin for foundation that is coming up next and i'm quickly applying some lip balm to prime my lips for lipstick now I'm using this Milani eyebrow pomade in the shade 05 and with this angle brush I'm just drawing the borders first then I'll be filling it up using smaller strokes now my primer needs some time to settle down and to prep my skin that's why I'm doing my brows now because I want to give my primer to some time to settle down Now with the spoolie, I'm just combing my brows so that the product is well distributed. I'm taking this Illegal Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Natural and I'm just carving out the borders of my brows so that they look sharp. I'm just blending the concealer with my finger. I'm taking these two color characters orange and yellow characters from LA girl again and I'm just applying them under my eyes on my eyelids around my mouth and wherever I have pigmentations and dark spots I mixed those two shades together to make a peachy kind of a shade for myself Then I'm just going to blend it out using a damp beauty sponge from Studio 35. If you do not have pigmentation or dark circle like mine, then you do not have to follow this step. Now for my foundation, I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 128. And with this Kabuki brush from Puna Store, I'm just buffing it in. I'm also applying another coat of foundation because the color character is peeping through and I want to cover them all now for highlighting and concealing I'm using the same illegal pro conceal concealer and I'm just applying it under my eyes in a bigger triangular shape on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadow down the bridge of my nose center of my forehead chin the sides of my mouth and just under where I'm going to place my contour next now I'm just blending everything out using the same damp beauty sponge I always like to blend out my under eye concealer later because I feel this way it gets some time to settle down and it gives better coverage now I'm using this Nika skin genius compact in the shade 02 rose beige and I'm just setting the areas wherever I applied the concealer using this damp beauty sponge Now with a fluffier powder brush, I'm just setting my entire face again. Now for my eyes, I'm first taking this light pink eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply it as my transition color. Now 
Now I'm taking this dark pink eyeshadow from the same palette and with this e.l.f. eyeshadow blending brush I'm just applying it on my crease. These eyeshadows are not super duper pigmented so you have to be patient and you have to build it up. I'm taking the black eyeshadow from the same palette and I'm just applying it on my outer V area. And I'm also blending it out a bit. Now I'm taking this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in the shade Fuchsia Flash and taking the eyeshadow side I'm just applying it on over my eyelids and I'm kind of creating a half cut crease look here. I'm just blending everything out again using the same pink eyeshadow that I, I applied on my crease. I'm taking the same pink eyeshadow and I'm just applying it on my lower lash line. And I'm taking this Jordan Easyline eyeliner pencil in the shade black and I'm just applying it on my waterline and I'm also going to tight line with it. Now I'm using this NYX eyeliner and I'm just creating a nice thick wing here. This eyeliner is so good, especially the brush tip. It's just so helpful. I'm also elongating my inner corners a bit so that my eyes look a little bigger. Now I'm curling my natural lashes with this Vega eyelash curler and I'm applying a coat of mascara. This is my Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. I'm coating my top and bottom lashes. I'm going to apply falsies for that I'm using this Ardell De Natural Demi Lashes in 128 and I'm, I've just applied it off the camera and this is the final eye look. Now for my contouring I'm using this Makeup Revolution Duo Face Sculpt Contour Palette and I'm just carving out my face. You know the drill right like the hollows of my cheeks chin forehead and my nose now for my blush I'm using this elf blush in blushing and I'm just applying it on the high points of my face then I'll be blending it out with my contour for highlighting, I'm using this Sivana Shimmer Brick Highlighter in the shade 02 and taking the second shade from the bottom, I'm just highlighting my face. This is stunning. Can you see the glow? I'm also going to highlight my brow bones and my inner corners with the same highlight. I'm just quickly setting my makeup using this e.l.f. makeup setting spray. For my lips, I'm using this Rimmel London liquid lipstick in the shade Heartbeat and I'm just applying it all over on my lips. Of course, this is a lipstick. How stupid of me. I'm just patting the same highlighter just on the center so that my lips look fuller and bigger and this is the final look i'm sorry guys my eyelash was coming off oh my god i don't know why it keeps on happening with me i just noticed it while editing the video i'm really sorry for that please excuse that 
I truly loved the way it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below. So please check that out. So see you in my next video. Till then, bye and take care.